it's like, come over and do it. Prove you know what I mean, and they know it's me. Now I don't wanna listen to a drug and see it. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tay. Welcome if you're new. Before I start today's video, I do want to apologize for taking a few weeks to get this episode out. If I'm being completely honest, my mental health took a toll and of course I didn't want to give you guys half s content so I'm, I'm really sorry. I love making videos and I love being your outlet when you need it. So bestie, we're definitely locked in. We're locked in for life. <laughs> As for Naomi, as you can see, her and Malik did do the nasty. And you guys know I had to ask for your advice in the comments on what to do because Naomi decided to have a midlife crisis and contemplate her entire life right in front of this man. <laughs> and as you guys know, the very first thing on her list that she wants to do is try for a baby. I read your comments and basically everybody and their mama said, do not let Naomi sleep with this man. <laughs> girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Now, Malik was responsible and he said, girl, we gotta use a condom. We gotta wrap it up because yeah, he's not he's not looking to have a baby. Y'all know he said he was orange. <laughs> he doesn't he was lying saying he wants something long term just to get her draws because I guess he's in that stage of his life, but He's not really trying to, you know, he's not looking for nothing serious. But you guys know, you know Naomi, she's trifling. So she made sure <laughs> to pop a hole in the condom because she's not thinking clearly at the moment. And I feel so bad because I, like, I, I'm setting her up for failure, but <laughs> she's just in her trifling era. But don't worry, don't worry. She's gonna go to therapy one of these days. Okay, so Naomi just finished doing the deed and y'all, <laughs> Now we're already thinking about kids, like. And then it says, pregnancy potential from pregnancy sex. Oh, it looks like things might have gone a little wild and Naomi can't help but to wonder if there's a little bun in the oven now. Take a pregnancy test to find out or keep going and mix in. Huh? Hello? Okay. <laughs> And then on another note, it says that she is feeling still a little bit angry. And it says, why is this midlife crisis happening to Naomi? Life isn't going well for her right now. So I don't know. I guess she just kind of assumed if she forced this man <laughs> to give her a baby, at least she could have a baby that will love her forever. <laughs> God, that is so sad. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and kick him out and let's have her take this pregnancy test. We only have to flirt with Malik two more times and then this qualifies as a perfect date, but I feel like this is not perfect at all whatsoever. So I'm just going to end it because yeah, let's end early. Okay. And then I'm just going to admire and kiss him. She's like, thank you for coming over. I'll see you next time, boo. <laughs> oh, look at him. He like, I got to go to work anyways, girl. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Um, I'm nervous, but let's take this pregnancy test. Oh, Naomi has the nerve to walk like this when she's taking this pregnancy test. Pee on the stick, girl. Please, Lord, be on my side for this because, oh my God, look at her face. Oh, yeah, not pregnant. Yay, perfect. Also, she has this really cute moodlet. Naomi is feeling dizzy with love after that steamy kiss with her partner. Okay, and then she has this moodlet that's making her tense from her midlife crisis. And it's basically saying that all of the social interactions have an extra boost during this period, which is why her and Malik became friends and not just regular friends, good friends. <laughs> so hopefully he never finds out that she tried to trap him because that would definitely <laughs> ruin their friendship. And it says that she's feeling a close connection. It feels great to spend time with someone who Naomi feels a deep connection with. So not Naomi has fallen in love with the D. <laughs> what? Okay, but her hygiene is super low. So I'm just gonna have her sing in the shower because I wanna work on her singing skill. She loves singing and I think it'd be really cool to improve it and see how good she can get. And then after this, we are gonna go to bed because she does have work in the morning at 8 a.m. Ooh, we're only gonna get a few hours of sleep. But now our try for a baby is one out of three. So <laughs> this midlife crisis is about to be over basically. Like, <laughs> Okay, and now let's just brush our teeth. We're gonna get ready for bed. See, the amount of time she took in the shower just singing, being all happy, being all flirty and 
It's now 3 a.m. She is not going to get to work on time. I can already tell. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wake, make her wake up early because I want her to have a productive morning. My alarm is set for 6 a.m. So I'm just going to sleep until the alarm rings. And oh my God, now her still thinking about a baby. Now Omi. Oh my God. My baby in here snoring. Y'all hear him? Mm-hmm. He is just sound asleep. <laughs> Ooh, what plant is that? I don't know, but it's ripe. Are those lemons? <gasps> it's a lemon tree. Oh my God. I want to pick these in the morning. Alarms going off. Good morning. It's time for Naomi to start her day. She swears she don't hear this. Oh my God. Turn the alarm off. Thank you. Um, she got enough sleep. She's just hungry. I'm going to see if we can... There's nothing in this fridge. God damn, we don't got no food in here. Okay, let me get a snack. I'm gonna have her eat a fruit salad, just something quick for breakfast, and then I'm gonna have her go on a jog. Naomi just woke up so freaking confident. She is like, nothing can touch me. I am just having a great day because I got some D last night and it was D bomb. <laughs> oh, she's gonna make the fruit salad. Okay, I thought it was already prepped for us, but it's okay. Naomi's in her cooking error or whatever. Um, I think she's still at a skill level two for cooking. Yeah, she's still at a skill level two, um, but it's okay because we're working on it. She, one day, you know, she's gonna be a mom and she's gonna be cooking some meals. That's what she's thinking at least. Oh. Oh, and she had a really good dream. Autumn, one of my favorite seasons with cooler temperatures, changing leaves, and the harvest of crops. During the fall, the weather is cooler, so it's a great time to enjoy outdoor activities before winter arrives. So she just had a dream about it being fall, and she's like, oh, I can't wait till it's fall. <laughs> oh, and she even got this one quickie with a hottie. Whoa. <laughs> Not only is Naomi's latest partner breathtakingly beautiful, but they also appear to be a sex um, I don't know that word, but it's leaving Naomi aching. Oh, we got to go to our general practitioner for checkup. Uh-oh. <gasps> now he gave us an STD. Oh my God. Can y'all imagine? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm going to have to go after work because we, got, we, we don't have time for that. I'm trying to get a, get a jog in before we go. Oh, I forgot about all these plates. Oh, this is nasty. But she's feeling so good. She doesn't even care about the mess. She's just like, mm mm. Nobody can tell me nothing because I got some Z last night. You know, it was good. <laughs> it was good. Even though I almost trapped him and forced him to have a baby with me. Okay, let's go ahead and change our outfit. Let's put on our athletic outfit. And we're going to go on a quick little jog this morning. Just roam around the neighborhood, listen to some music because she's been really wanting to go on that jog. Oh, and she wants to listen to metal music. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we're going to listen to some metal music. I like to make her, oh, our laundry. We're going to have to do laundry. <laughs> I like to make them like come out here first and then make them jog. Oh, is she contemplating her life again? Skuma. Oh my god, no! She's like, I want to get married. I, I feel like the music was really loud, so I zoomed out. But she's like, I want to get married. I just had that woohoo, and why did I just give it up to him like so easily? And it's like, oh, we're about to start working an hour. We're, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna work from home, but technically at the actual place. Okay, girl, if you don't come out here and come on this damn jog. We don't got time. Oh, and we did really well the other day. So we got $500 from work. I guess it was yesterday. All right. And <laughs> she feels really good outside because it's green out here. I did cheat it. I'm not even going to lie to y'all because it was getting a little polluted outside. But uh, let's go jogging. Oh, just a little jog around the neighborhood. We can see how gentrified the neighborhood is getting. <laughs> the land grabs did not come to play when they were talking about gentrifying our area. Look at our complex back there. <laughs> Don't play with them. Oh, and I can't forget to harvest these lemons. I want to make some lemonade or something with this. Like, this is going to be nice. Give me that lemon. Her fitness skill is rising. It seems like it's rising pretty quickly. I think because she's in a good mood. Oop, and she yes, said, that's it, yeah. that's it, I'm done. <laughs> that's all I want to do this morning. Okay, girl, that's fine. I think she started thinking about her life too much out here on this jog, and she like, mm-mm. You know what? That's fine, because she needs to come in here and use the restroom, and then we're going to head to work anyways. Oh, she's checking her social media. She's like, did I get any new matches? And we did match with that guy, Bryce, that I never met up with, so I am interested in trying to meet up with him again soon. We'll see how that turns out. I don't know. All right, I'm going to have Naomi change and then head over to work. I'll see you guys there. Uh. 
Jeannie Hondrum. Biroche. going about her day tell me why malik comes over here and proposes to her <laughs> in the middle of her work day <gasps> it's happening malik right is so utterly smitten with naomi that he is proposing marriage i'm in shock uh well okay since naomi wants to get married like that's on her to-do list for her midlife crisis i'm just gonna say she's gonna say yes because she was like so head over heels after getting the d last night so <laughs> <laughs> he just randomly ran into the restroom while I was trying to talk to this client and we're engaged out, period. <laughs> period. Okay, this is awkward. I mean, like four hours into my shift and I fucked around and got engaged. Okay, <laughs> I'm not mad at it. It's just like only in the Sims, you know? Okay, uh, I'm gonna dismiss. I was chasing down this patient trying to trying to get her to pay her bill. <laughs> I'll go ahead and dismiss her now. Um, and then just leave me. Oh my God, why did she give me a one star? <laughs> Every time. It's just like, I was just trying to use the bathroom and then the vet tech bust in here saying, I gotta pay $50 for my cat surgery. And then some man bust in the restroom asking if he could marry her. Like, <laughs> this is awkward. Well, girl, screw you. You're just a hater. Like, I wish I could punch you in the face. <laughs> like, leave me and my man be. Okay, go ahead, close the door. Let's lock it for everyone. You already know she about to get a little spicy in here. Um, Let's just go ahead. Let's do a frenzied kiss. She was like, you really came to my job to ask to marry me. He was like, yes, girl. I want to be all up in that summer for the, oh, Naomi. I, <laughs> I know she not. Oh, she's strong. Okay, well, sh she got to tell Jen about this. This is this is a lot <laughs> okay um go away though because i'm at work i'll talk to you later he's trying to make sure i don't go back on that fruity sim dating app anyways it looks like we have a new client in here so i'm gonna greet her she is so pretty naomi's um to do list says that she wants to make a new bff could this be our new bff because she is so pretty and i just want to be her friend now I've never seen Gemma acting this way before. I hoped it would go away, but it's gotten worse. Please see what you can do. I will help you out, Monet. Let's go ahead and get Gemma taken care of. Her cat is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's pretty. Well, she's pretty stressed. Let me calm her down a little bit. And look at Naomi's little moodlet. Engaged. These Sims are engaged to wed. Save the date. Oh my god. Nobody's gonna believe this, y'all. Okay, let's test the ears. I'm gonna see if I can do a bunch of these. Take the temperature. Fur. Listen to the heart. Oh my gosh, my dear friend Kimmy. I guess she's a wedding um, coordinator. Uh, it says, congratulations. I heard you and Malik just became engaged. An event coordinator can come in handy. Are you planning on eloping or doing your own planning? Or would you like to speak to a coordinator? I've got fantastic reviews. Let's set up a complimentary chat. You're not obligated to hire me. I will chat more with her because we used to be really good friends. I haven't talked to her in so long though. So we're okay. gonna see. Ooh. Oh my God, not her stopping this uh, <laughs> inspection to get on this phone call. Oh my God. Monet's gonna be like, I know she not taking a phone call while she's supposed to be treating my cat, Gemma. We still don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> well, she's like, this is really important. My man actually just came over and we just got engaged. So, okay, so she's basically asking if I want to use her services. Um, 
Should I pay $200? Like, no, m- maybe later. I'll talk to you later, girl. Like, I can't commit right now. I'm, I'm still examining <laughs> this cat, okay? I need to talk to Malik. Like, I don't even know what we're doing, okay? Everything's happening so fast. I, I can't commit to that right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to calm her again because she is so stressed. Oh, Lord, it sounds like things are not going well over here. This cat is hissing at her. Okay, she has nuclear nose, which, okay. Oh, we can do a little shot. Let's give her this shot and then you'll be good to go. Oh, <laughs> the cat was like, what the hell was that? All right, go ahead and give me my money, Monet. Thank you. Okay, and now I want to talk to her. I think um, since she did just see me take that phone call, I'm going to announce my engagement to her. Like, girl, I know I just met you, but I just want to tell you that I just got engaged and that's why I took that phone call. So please don't give us a bad review. I'm just so excited. She was like, what? This is really the most exciting news. Okay, now we can't wait to tell everyone about her engagement. Yes. That boosted our friendship so much, so I'm glad. Um, okay, let me get to know her a little bit. And also, I want to know about her career. What does she do? We learned she's creative. Oh, she's currently unemployed. Okay. All right, she's like, well, it was nice meeting you. I'll talk to you again soon. Maybe we can hang. All right, this is our last customer of the day. We have Bella and she's acting differently. We're gonna go ahead and treat her and see what's wrong with this little baby. Word is going around so quickly. I heard you got engaged. Danny knows. Oh my goodness. Uh, Tay is gonna be like, what? <laughs> when she finds out. Oh, Naomi is feeling confident and empowered after that bold, daring kiss. That just put her on top of the world today. Oh my goodness. Like, I thought that she was gonna have a good day today, but this was like the best day of her life because... Did I just see, uh... Charlie, where do you think you're going? Why are you not helping customers? See... That's why she can't be my new BFF. I can't be friends with somebody I work with because <laughs> I'm gonna have to slap them. Okay, <laughs> she has severe hot foot. Hopefully, oh yes, it's a shot that we can do. I don't like bringing them to the surgery station. It's too many steps. I swear this girl has like 20 million cats. Um, This is actually oh, yes. Bianca who is dating Dante, um, Don's brother. But I think this is the last customer of the day. I'm just gonna go ahead and dismiss you. Ooh, Smart. she gave us four stars. Oh, oh. oh why did why did it turn into one? What? That is insane. Okay. Oh my god, it turned into one star because she started contemplating her life right as she talked to that customer. She's like, damn, I really don't even want to be working here. I just want to be with my man Malik. I want to have 10 babies with him and I want to get married and I want a honeymoon in Greece just like my sister. And I just want to be, you know, a housewife after that. <laughs> She's like, damn, I'm so tired. Oh my god. And Charlie just walked away from me while I was contemplating. <laughs> She's like, girl, I need some air. <laughs> she went outside after that. Oh my God, Tay, did she find out? Yo, Tay found out. Yes. Okay. She's like, hey, girl. Um, so what's going on? Anything you want to talk about? She was like, oh, like what? Like perhaps me finding the love of my life? Well, not really, but almost. <laughs> <laughs> she's like yeah she's like girl yes i'm actually engaged i just met this guy he's super cool we hit it off right away and all of a sudden he just asked if he wanted to marry me <laughs> she's like girl are you sure like you when did how long have you known him she's like well technically it's only been 24 hours <laughs> She's like, oh, really? Fine. Really, Jeff though? That's crazy. <laughs> like, are you sure you're ready for this? She's like, girl, don't judge me. I found the love of my life. Now leave me alone. If you want to... <laughs> I feel like she's going to get defensive about it, you know? That's it, though. That That's it. She, she had a hang up on her face after that. She's like, no. Did I close the business? Let me close. Well, our growth opportunities is the ambiance and the bedside manner. Okay, um, I'm not really sure how I can improve on those things, but whatever, we made some money. 
Naomi supposedly found her soulmate, but I don't know. He was giving fruity to me, and I just feel like that could not possibly have been her soulmate. So I'm gonna have her drink this little soulmate be gone potion. So hopefully she'll find a new soulmate, and I'm hoping that it's actually not Malik because I personally want Naomi to end things off with him because like, what does he have going for himself? He's a DJ and a drug dealer. Like, I mean, maybe he could become a professional DJ and become famous soon, but I'm not putting all my marbles in one jar, you know? So I'm just going to take my chances and hopefully we can find a new sexy daddy to be our soulmate. Okay, it's here in my inventory. All I have to do is drink it and then... Who was Naomi's soulmate again? It's as if it never happened. Perfect. Oof, my girl is looking rough. As we know, she did not get all her sleep last night. So I'm gonna have her head home and take a nap. That's Malik's house over there. I'm hoping that he does not try to come over because look at her, she is so freaking tired. And I do wanna call Jen. I wanna <laughs> FaceTime her and let her know what happened because it's been crazy. <laughs> Gotta feed Teddy real quick. What? What, baby? Um, uh, let him lick my face. Oh, I just got another like. Like, Naomi, are you really ready to be tied down when you got all these people liking your profile? Oh, Lemphy. Hey, Teddy, I missed you too. I missed you. Okay, I'm gonna video call Jen real quick because I have to tell her, like, girl, guess what? Jen's like, we going on a trip? No, girl, even better. I'm not playing games. This is serious. So you remember that guy that I hung out with the other night? And she's like, oh, the one that smelled like Dookie? No, 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 not that one. The, the, no, I, I hung out with my neighbor, the drug dealer, not the one who smelled like Dookie. <laughs> she's like, sorry, I'm real tired. But yeah, guess what? Not only did we do the deed, but he proposed to me. And she's like, what? She was like, yes, he said my son must be too good and he is in love. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, girl. She's like, yes, I woke up in a good mood this morning because I just got the D last night. I was writing my journal talking about how much I love him. And apparently he loved me too because he wants to marry me. And she's like, are you sure he's not playing games with you, girl? And then she hangs up. <laughs> Phone disconnected. Um, she's like, girl, playing games with who? No, he's in love with me. She's in her Delulu era. <laughs> Let's clean up a little bit. And then we're gonna, um... oh my God, why are there so many dishes everywhere? Naomi, get it together. Are there dishes out here too? Oh my God, yes. From when we were drinking last night, it got crazy. If we look at the calendar, tomorrow is actually the Super Bowl. So I really wanted Naomi to have like a Super Bowl party. So I wanna do that. I think it's gonna be so fun and we gotta have the house a little bit clean. Like I'm gonna get started early cause you know, I'm off tomorrow and I don't wanna spend all morning cleaning. And the last thing we gotta do is clean up our KFC bucket. <laughs> Oh my God, I can hear Malik. Is he coming over? Oh, what is it? Who is this girl he's talking to? Uh-uh, tell me y'all remember her. Tell me y'all remember her. Don't worry, I'll catch you up. He's talking to Peaches. I gotta see what they talking about now because this is my new uh, fiance. You know, Naomi just needs to empty the trash real quick. So she's gonna come outside to the dumpsters and she's gonna see them talking. Oh, I heard his voice. His voice is so deep. I can hear it all the way <laughs> in my house. I feel like Naomi would be jealous. She's like, who is this girl with a big old booty out here that she's talking to? So she's gonna give a, a rude oh, greeting. She's like, I'm so freaking tired. And now I gotta deal with this man talking to this pretty girl. Uh, she's like, who, who are you? Uh, talking to my man. He just went inside. He was like, I'm not gonna deal with this drama. Like what is going on? Naomi didn't like her. She thinks her first impression is that she's a nature maniac. I feel like she's just picking anything. She's like, mm, she out here smelling the fresh air and stuff. Ooh, just acting like she better than everybody. <laughs> and then Pamela thought that Naomi was shallow. Oh, she just think I'm drama. I think that she lives in these apartments cause 
Why was she so close? I'm gonna ask about her love life because she's like, so are you single? Like, why are you talking to my man? And she's like, oh, wouldn't you like to know? Like, I, I don't want your man. Ooh, our conversation is just not going good. Okay. Well, let me just have her stress about lost time. She's like, sorry, girl. I'm just a little stressed out because me and my man just got engaged and I'm trying to protect our relationship. And I know how trifling heifers like you be sometimes. <laughs> She's like, girl, who are you calling a heifer? Oh my God, did they? Oh, she feels for me. She's like, I know how it be, girl. I just got out of a toxic relationship. I deal with trifling men all the time at my job too. She's like, oh, thank you. Wow, I can't believe they connected over that. <laughs> okay, I'll have her apologize. She's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to come across as, as you know, this jealous girl. I just had a hard day. All right, I will send her home because I want to know where she lives. Oh, I guess, I guess not here. All right, I'm gonna just have her come and let's take a nap because she is so tired. I do want to call Jen back soon because I don't know why she just, uh... You know, we're trying to act like Naomi's moving too fast, <laughs> as a good friend should. But she just needs to take this nap first. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was thinking of maybe trying to do a little meditation to kind of focus and figure out what she really wants and what she really needs at this point in her life. All right, first, I'm going to have her shower because she did not shower after work. And then after this, we're going to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. Actually, you know, Naomi can't cook. Let, what is my dog barking at? Oh my god. Why are you just here barking? Just... Oh, he was trying to wake me up from my nap. No. He needs to be lectured because... You're not about to be trying to wake me up from my nap. I have an alarm clock for a reason, Teddy. Oh, and then we got to do this laundry because it's getting out of hand. Why do I have so many laundry piles? Oh my God. She's like, Teddy, you better not wake me up next time. I'm not playing with you, little boy. <laughs> oh, and then look at me. I want to change her outfit. Um, I want to put her in something comfy. Let's just put on this loungewear set and then go ahead and add. Why can't I add it to my laundry basket? Oh, it's full. Okay. We're just gonna bring all of the clothes to the wash machine and do this laundry. Oh, and then let's put this in the wash machine too. I wanna upgrade my thing cause I wanna put some uh, Tide Pods in here, but I can't cause it's not upgraded. Let's just wash it. Oh, and then let's order some food. None of this sound good. Maybe I'll have, um, you know, we trying to work on our health. Let's have a Capri salad. All right, she's placing this order. Hopefully it gets here quick because she is so hungry. That nap did nothing for us too. Thank you for using Zoomer food delivery service. Someone should be arriving shortly, hopefully sooner than later. Ooh, not Naomi thinking about woohoo. She like, should I invite Malik over? You know, he is my fiance or whatever. Girl, you better stop. Oh, she has to use the bathroom. Let me use it real quick. And then I'm gonna send a little text to Jen. Be like, girl, what are you doing? She's like, do you dare me to have a one night stand with this guy that I just met on the fruity dating sim app? And Jen's like, girl, you are so crazy. Do it. <laughs> oh, just in time. My food is here. Maybe I should invite that guy Bryce over. This is a contactless delivery, sir. You can go ahead and put it on the floor, please. On, on the floor. On, on the floor. He acting like he don't hear me on this ring doorbell. <laughs> oh my God, what is Malik out here talking to her again for? Why is she all dressed up? Where is she going? She's talking about something sweet? Uh-uh, no. Let me come out here to get this food. Oh no, where is she going as soon as I came out here? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure my ring doorbell is, she lives here. I'm gonna have to make sure my ring doorbell is on her cause I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing with this man. Give me my food, sir. Oh, dag dag. He's like, don't mind if I do, I'll put it out on the table for you. <laughs> this man don't understand what contactless means. I'm gonna give him a tip though. Cause he didn't make sure that I was taken care of. Baroog. Here you go, sir. Okay, let's get our food. I'm so hungry. Hopefully um, these four pieces of lettuce can fill her up <laughs> because 
you know, she says she on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> I will look at her. She's like, this is so healthy. I love it. She is really wanting to get some sleep, but I am, I don't know. I'm really thinking about inviting this guy over just to see. So Bryce, do we have any connection? Let's find out. She's like, I'm looking at his profile. He is really cute. Ooh, okay, so they were chatting and it says, I enjoy our conversation. Do you wanna meet up? I really wanna see you. I'm gonna say just join me right away. After seeing Malik and Pamela cozy outside twice, not, not, not once, twice, she's just like, you know what? Mm -mm. I can't just be like getting married to this man. I wanna see what this other guy's about. I need options, okay? And this is Bryce, he just let himself in my house. <laughs> so we're gonna get to know him and see what he's about. I'm gonna talk to him and let's just get to know him. Ooh, talk about life together. She is <laughs> trying to move on too quickly. Bon and gravy. Ooh, they sat down at the table like they're on a little date. Why does he look so bored with me? Why is he? Okay, so we learned that he's bro, so he really likes sports and stuff. I want to discuss dating criteria. Let's see, what is he looking for in a woman? He's like, well, you really caught my eye on the app. I think you're absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna ask him what fruit he chose because that's what the date wants us to do. Oh, he chose cherry. I forgot what fruit cherry was. Oh, yes. Oh, hopefully Malik doesn't come outside because he's. I don't got no blinds in my window. <laughs> but it seems like they're having a good time together. Um, Let's go ahead and have our first kiss. You had a milk. Oh, they're cute. I'm gonna have Naomi confess her attraction to him. Like, ooh, I think you look so good. Do you wanna maybe take this upstairs? I'm really tired. Like, maybe we could just go upstairs and cuddle a little bit. Oh my God, she's trying to go without him. <laughs> She basically said, um, we not cuddling. Uh, you coming or what? <laughs> so I'm gonna just have the woohoo. <laughs> oh, he like, yes, you know I'm coming. <laughs> she fell asleep because you know she was exhausted. And Bryce is just here. I think he's just playing with Teddy. <laughs> Hopefully he lets himself out. I know we're technically still on a date, but I hope he just gets the hint. Naomi didn't really see anything special with him. So he's just one for the books. I'm just gonna end the date so he can leave. And we got a silver medal for that date. Well, Bryce said he wanted to cuddle. <laughs> Why is he still here? And why is he acting like a crackhead? Oof, but when Naomi wakes up, she's gonna be contemplating her life. Why is Pamela out here? Stop, cause why do I feel like she's trying to meet up with Malik or something? Like she's waiting for him out here. What is going on y'all? Maybe she's just trying to buy drugs. You know, he is a drug dealer. Let me stop being messy. Here Teddy go. I know he about to wake me up. Oh, he is so annoying. Oh, you make me so mad, little boy. Oh, I'm gonna lecture him so hard. What does she think about the woohoo? <gasps> she doesn't even have a mood lit about it. That means it wasn't good. <laughs> Teddy, you better have learned to stop waking me up. Oh, he did! Yay. Oh, he's rubbing on my leg. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Um, it says she's scared. Naomi is at a crossroads in life and not sure what she wants to do next. Life just didn't pan out the way she thought it would. <gasps> yeah, she's contemplating about getting engaged now. She's like, mm, I really actually don't know anything about him at all. <laughs> yeah, girl. So the sun is rising and I think it would be cool if Naomi does come out here to do some meditation change our outfit and let's just watch the sunrise. Let's meditate and see how we feel afterwards. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love the sunrises in the game. And I just feel like this is so relaxing. Naomi really just needs to decompress. Maybe next episode, I will take her to therapy to get some professional help. So she just feels really focused right now. And it says from viewing art, which I'm not sure why, because we meditated. But now I'm just gonna try to write in my wellness journal and let's sort out our feelings from today. Just pretend like the pencil is in my 
hands. Don't know where it is, <laughs> but she's just write it in her little journal. Perfect. She's all done for today. I want to see if she has any mood lit or anything after this. It says, another day, another entry. The pen hitting the pad really helps Naomi relieve her emotions and get it all out. Let's go ahead and brew a pot of coffee. And like I said, today is the championship game. So we're going to be having the Super Bowl. And so I'm going to be decorating um, Naomi's little townhouse pretty soon so we can get ready for the party. I've been thinking about having Naomi try to take some cooking classes soon. So we might actually do that next episode as well, just because she really needs to learn how to cook. Like we can't just keep eating fast food. Like we're never going to get our weight loss goals if we keep eating fast food. So she has to learn how to cook something. Oh, just cut her yeah. finger. Naomi has invited Jen and Jen's husband, Edward, over to help get ready for the Super Bowl party today. You know Naomi can't cook, so she's hoping that Jen can help her whip up some hot wings and some snacks for the party. I'm going to just start some music to get the party started, you know? So this is what we have set up as far as decorations. We have the this really cute photo area, a bunch of balloons and streamers everywhere. I think I'm going to have Jen and Naomi bake some cupcakes and just put them on the table here and order a couple pizzas and we'll just lay that out on the coffee table. And yeah, this is basically the area. I pulled out some lawn chairs because we're gonna have a ton of guests over. And Naomi is repping the green and yellow. I made sure to turn the lights green and yellow too outside because she's repping the Delso Valley dragons, okay? And Jen is in the red because she's repping the Brindleson Bay Packers. <laughs> and so is her husband. Technically, Naomi hasn't really met him, but I'm gonna pretend and say that she does know him because, oh, it turned my TV off, hold on. Because she's Jen's best friend, I would think that she would know her. I just didn't even know he existed, so. <laughs> Jen whipped out her cooking book and she's gonna help Naomi make some desserts. And I wanna make the celebration cake and also some cupcakes. And then let me just have Naomi join her cooking. She can chat with Klein. Uh, I keep wanting to call him Klein. His last name is Klein, his name is Edward. But Naomi, hopefully she can learn a thing or two. Jen is actually a cooking level eight. Oh, and also, oh, my dog just let himself out. Oh, the landlord is here. The land grabs do own this property, and I don't know why she's here, but I feel like she's just being nosy because she knows it's the Super Bowl and people are going to be throwing parties and stuff, and she just doesn't want the place to be wrecked. Oh, my God, and my dog came out here and peed. It's so annoying. Oh, but Naomi's having so much fun in here. Oh, what is my dog doing? Oh, he's barking at the door. Uh, I'm gonna send her home. I don't have time for her to ruin my fun. She could do this another day. So I was gonna put it as just a regular party, but I kind of want to make it a keg party because we do have a keg in the backyard and I feel like, you know, that's sports related kind of. So let's do that. And we're gonna invite Malik and Don and Tay and Jen and my friend Kimmy. We're gonna invite her new friend Monet that I'm hoping I can become best friends with because we're super compatible. Lauren, Naomi's ex-roommate Brendan. Oh, and also <laughs> Genevieve's husband. Oh, and we can't forget Miss P. And then location is gonna be at my house. Ooh, everyone should be here soon. Oh, you guys, Malik and a few other guests just showed up. So I'm gonna have Naomi introduce him to Jen. Oh, but look who has showed up, you guys. Oh! <laughs> With our cranky baby girl. Oh, her hair has grown so much. Well, they've kind of showed up. They're like walking over, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Why is Malik still outside? Oh, she is so cranky. Ooh, let's hug lovingly. Ooh, everybody is just in here celebrating. And Monet has showed up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, stop talking to them and talk to Tay, please. Where's Dawn at? And why is Malik still outside the door? He still hasn't come in yet. She's like, hey, sis, I missed you. Okay, let me um talk up my sister. And then I'll talk up Jen. Talk up another Sim. Oh. Don is here, okay. Um, let's talk up Tay so he can meet Tay. She's like, hey Malik, this is my sister Tay. You're gonna love her. Oh, look at them. He's like, hey, I'm Malik. 
It's just like, so you're the one I've been here all about. Oh, he says Tate is great. Okay, and then let me talk him up to Jen. Oh my God, Penelope, if you don't get out of these counters. Oh, she is so bad, please. Okay, Malik sounds like he's an absolute pleasure to be around. Look at them talking now. Tay, if you don't handle your baby, she over here signing autographs and look at Lauren busting it down in the living room. Oh, and Don and Kimmy just got here. Um, let me just, you know, give him a little hug. Like, hey, this is her brother-in-law. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Oh, and Kimmy's like, oh my God, that's Tay. It's so crazy because Jen, Kimmy, and Tay, and Naomi were all just like the four best friends. But I don't know, they just... Jen started flirting with me and trying to get in my drawers and try to ruin my relationship with Don. Naomi also tried to get in Don's drawers and ruin <laughs> my relationship with Don. Kimmy, she didn't really do anything. We just kind of, you know, stopped talking and then, you know, you grow apart. Um, but it's so crazy for us all to be in the same room together, especially like Tay and Jen, because they haven't talked and Tay didn't, didn't even know that Jen got married. Speaking of getting married, I don't know where her husband is at, but I'm going to come out here and let's tap the beer keg. Oh, Kimmy is getting herself a drink. I'm sorry. I should really have tapped this before you got here. I'm a bad host. <gasps> Was he just flirting with me? <laughs> He acting real flirty right now. He better not be flirting with me. No, he's flirting with Tay. Okay. Because look at everybody taking pictures. And then <laughs> Lorna here. She's a mood. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try again. We got this girl. Yeah. Yay! Okay, we got it. Naomi's ex roommate Brendan just showed up, and to say that he is a fan is an understatement. Okay. Ooh, I want Naomi and Tay to take a selfie together. She's like, cheese. Don, <laughs> all up in my way, please. Please move out the way. He's like, damn, this place is small. Please. He was like, come on, I'm trying to dance with my woman. Oh. <laughs> She's like, hey, boo, I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, let me thank him for coming. Ooh, is Monet going to get a beer? She is. She's filling up some cups for me. Yes, thank you, girl. So sweet. Oh, look at Penelope in here crying. He's like, baby, what's wrong? Oh, it says that she just woke up and she woke up in a sad mood. Oh my God. Nah, girl, cause I get it. Life is hard. I want to um do a keg stand. I want to do a keg stand with Monet. Okay, and I found Jen's husband. He's over here talking to the neighbor. Like, I guess they know each other or something cause he's really intrigued in his conversation. Okay, I had to move some things around so they could do this keg stand. Naomi, do not disappoint us now. Everybody can see you through that window, girl. Oh! Take it to the head! Take it to the head! Hey! Yeah! Keg stood. <laughs> All right, look at Naomi. She is feet side up in a beer keg. Woo, party! Yes! And then it says the joy of ale. Naomi is just elated after downing some beer from the beer keg. She can't stop smiling. And, ooh, she's drunk. Not her drunk already. And then she also got a good confident moodlet from tapping the beer keg. I like that her and Monet are repping the same team. So I'm gonna take a photo with her. Yes, right selfie for Simstagram. <laughs> Oh, adorable. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have her and Monet grab a beer. Bro, loose gear Okay, I'm gonna have her tell a story to Jen because that's one of the, thing, the things we have to do. I'm gonna tell an outrageous story and it's gonna be the story of how she almost trapped Malik because, it, you know, she's drunk right now. So I feel like she's just gonna be spilling all her beans. She was like, so I was playing games with Malik. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, I did something real slimy, real snake, but I tried to trap him. I tried to trap him. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I was playing games with him. I said that I was on birth control and I had condoms. I was not on birth control and I poked a hole in the condom. <laughs> and just like, girl, what? 
Uh-huh. She's like, um, is this really my friend? <laughs> I don't know if I can trust this girl. <laughs> oh, let me tell her another story about the amazing woohoo we had afterwards, though. Oh, look at Jun's husband in here. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's just in here dancing and stuff. Okay. And then the party poopers right here, they're like, we'll watch. <laughs> Please. Oh, look, Tay came out here to talk to Jen. And Jen was like, mm -mm, I'm not trying to talk to her. <gasps> That's so awkward. They just left her out there. Oh, now Malik came out here to eat his cupcake next to Tay. That's awkward. Okay, I'm going to just have them talk. Um, let me get to know him because apparently you're engaged to my sister. Like, who are you, you know? She's like, so how did you and Naomi meet? You take her out on a date? And he was like, oh, we actually met online. Oh, and then Jen's husband comes out here to talk. And let me, um, wait, I don't even know him. Let me do an introduction. Wait a minute. Let me do a friendly introduction. She's like, hey. Um, I don't think we've met. <gasps> Stop, this is messy. Okay, it seems like she likes these type of sims. I'm gonna say yes, but this is not love at first sight, girl. You better stop. You have not found the one. Mm -mm. See, she just, she trying to be messy right now because Jen <laughs> is here and I feel like this would really piss Jen off, you know, but we not gonna do it. We, we not. She over here acting like she found the love of her life. No. No, we didn't, boo. Go ahead and drink that up, babe, because <laughs> that's not gonna happen here. Naomi over here, she got drunk and now she's trying to make some bread. Girl, if you if you almost stop. Oh, I have not interacted with Lauren at all. I'm gonna tell her a story. I can't believe that Jen is just letting Tay come out here and talk to her man. I feel like she gonna come out here and she gonna be like, um, let me just go whisper seductively to my man. Who's Tay's soulmate again? It's as if it never happened, perfect. Oh, look at Jen, being messy. Mm -mm. Ooh, a little high five. Thank you, Brendan. Brenda's like, girl, I saw what happened. You handled it like a G. <laughs> okay, everyone is just here and they're watching the TV. Um, I don't know, you know, who's winning, who's losing. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like our team is winning. The Delta Valley Dragons, okay? And that's why he's spitting out this fire because he's winning. Ooh, and it looks like Monet just took um, a piece of cake because we got a score, okay? <laughs> oh, Penelope's like, it's so loud in here. I'm so sorry, mama. I'm sorry. You crawl around and go do whatever you want. Go have some fun, girl. Oh, they're so cute. Look at her dancing! Oh, <laughs> she's so cute! Oh my god, why is Kelly with cheese at my doorbell? First of all... Oh! Did she just ding-dong ditch me? No! Kelly with cheese just ding-dong ditched me! <laughs> you know, this is just what it costs when you live in Delso Valley. Sometimes you're gonna have Kelly with cheese ding-dong ditch your doorbell. <laughs> oh! Kimmy, why did she just knock down my trash cans? Girl, and who left a poopy bag at my front door? <laughs> no, stop, things are getting out of hand. And my dog just pissed all over my front rug. Oh my God, please. Oh, look at Monet and Kimmy. They're hogging the stand. Kimmy, Kimmy! Girl, you can't hang. <laughs> Okay, not everybody watching Tay <laughs> dance, please. Oh my God, wait, no. Were you born in a barn 101? <laughs> Vegas green is supposed to be kept clean and the Thai household is ruining it for everyone. Expect a fine of 600 simoleons. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm just throwing a party. Like, I swear I'm gonna clean up. Like, please leave me alone. Uh. Uh-uh, I know Lauren didn't just pull out a blunt and start smoking a... There's a baby out here. Please. Go outside. Oh. Oh, they're making me so mad. It's better outside than inside, but damn, this is where the party ends because... Uh-uh. Okay, I'm gonna have people listen to this damn radio and then... 
and then that's it. You know what? Let me grab a piece of cake because people are doing too much right now. Look, Taya's like, uh uh, this is crazy. What is all this trash everywhere? Like, oh, she took Penelope <laughs> to the toilet. Please. I did not know this was even possible. <laughs> Oh, I value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. That's cute. Oh, and he is smoking in here too. Okay, no, stop. Because we have a child here. Party over. Yep, go ahead and end it. Y'all need to get the hell up out of here. Y'all don't gotta go home, but y'all need to get the hell up out my house. Okay. <laughs> She's like, bye. Go ahead. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, and Tay left her baby carrier. Well, not my problem. Destroyed. <laughs> okay, everybody is leaving. She's like, bye, y'all. Um, This place is an actual mess. Let me start cleaning this up because there are just dishes everywhere. I hope y'all don't drink and drive. Get home safe, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. That was fun, though. I've never done, like, a Super Bowl party or anything like this before. So it was, like, so fun. Y'all, look at all these dishes. This is crazy. Like, nobody wanted to clean up after themselves. I mean, I know it's my house, but, like, have the common courtesy to yeah. clean up after yourself. And I'm glad that uh, Jen left her cookbook here because, you know, we definitely need it. Ooh, okay, so she has a lot of moodlets. It says, host triumph to invite, to entertain, to charm, and regale. The host who has succeeded at these may take pride in a job well done. And, oh, togetherness from feeling close to the people that were here. She made a new friend. I don't know what friend it was. Maybe it was uh, Genevieve's husband, Edward. I'm gonna have Naomi try to finish cleaning up a tiny bit and then she's gonna head to bed. That's gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a big thumbs up and like and subscribe. And I do wanna say I'm gonna put in a huge effort to make sure the next video comes out on time. I would hate to have this series drag on for super long because I know we all wanna see Tay and Dawn in the Growing Together Let's Play, which is coming soon after this series. So definitely stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.